guys, it is Jacob here. Um, I'm sorry about that. Today I'm going to be showing you my Lego uh, motorhome mock. This is not a set, it's a mock. And I'll show you the size of it with a minifig. Uh, minifigs are about as long, almost as long. Uh, many figs are as long as the second joint of my finger. As you can see, about. That's how big they are. Um, so yeah. Um, so this is the size of the motorhome. Uh, so let's just get to, we'll start from the front of the motorhome, and move to the side, the back, and then to the outside. So, at the front, you have, it's a bit off there, at the front you have a grill with a license plate, some turn signals, get that in the middle, with some turn signals, some lights and I don't know why we put red lights up there, but it just look, makes it look good. The uh, license plate are the exact same on the back and front. So this is Rolling Legal. The front does pop off. So you can make this however you want it to look like. It's On the back is just a 2x8 uh, connected by a 1x4. Uh, that's what keeps the grill on. So that is the grill in the front. Oh, and you have mirrors with turn signals, and you have a big windscreen to view the road. Very simple to view the road. Let's move to the side. I don't think I can get it all in there, but I'll try. So. Uh, you have windows right here, windows right there, you have a door that does open, allowing a minifig to, it has enough headroom for the minifig to walk in. The size of a minifig is about four studs, four studs in one plate, or four bricks in one plate, that's how high it is. Uh, there are five main colors in this, but in different orders, so it's light gray in the bottom, red, and then light gray again, then you have dark gray, blue, white, light gray again, then dark gray. Um, right here, you have this exhaust. Exhaust is just how carbon dioxide and air comes out of an engine when it starts shooting out. So that's what, that's what those tubes on the back of a car or anything are. That's what exhaust is. Um, this right here is exhaust for generator. It has a built-in generator. And so you can have, like, running water and stuff. And then you can watch TV. Your charges work and stuff. But, yeah. You have a window to look out for the view. And I'll show you what that yellow thing is inside later. Let's move to the back. The back, I said you had the same exact license plate, HA600, yeah, HA60018. And on the front, you have HA60018. Told you, they're exact same. Let's get a closer look. Right here, you have a hitch connect to connect like to a trailer, or a trailer can connect to it. Um, you have a ladder to access the roof. You have uh, lights that you can put at any angle. We just leave them like this. I wouldn't like to turn these lights upside down. Either. Uh, that's about it for this side. Uh, or for the back. For this side, let's just roll it. Right here, you have... Um, you have out... Uh, how do you call them again? Um... Outlets. You have outlets with water to collect water and 
electricity, so you don't need to use your generator the whole time. Um, my screen just glitched out for a second. Uh, this right here, you don't see it, this tube right here, uh, it's just a Technic pin. Uh, right, that right there is actually the sewer pipe. For like, so there's a bathroom right here actually, right in the spot right here, and that will collect the poop pee and stuff. I should have said that. Uh, as you can see right here, you can see the outlining of the slide out on both sides. So this is where the slide out is. It has a window, and right here is also a window. I see that. Let's just squish everything. Uh, this is kind of heavy, so everything becomes loose. So you want to squish it whenever you show it. Okay, now let's just look at the roof. So I'm taking off the roof. Uh, the roof is held by these two pins on the front and in the back. So it stays in place because it is a heavy build. Um, on the roof, you have two old-fashioned horns at the front. Four antennas. Um, right here, you have an air conditioning unit with a skylight that is see-through. So, so I can put my fingers through there. Uh, my screen is glitching out. You can, I, you can see my fingers right there. So the see-through. Um, at this side, you have a satellite. It does open and move, so I'm just going to lay it down. See, it opens and moves. So you can get a good signal. And it has outlining in the inside, as you can see. Uh, so it stays in place. It doesn't, like, uh, move around and clip on. Because sometimes, um, sometimes this has happened. Uh, it's flat on the bottom. And when I place it, it, it sometimes get caught. It sometimes gets caught in the wrong spot. So that's why we have these outlinings inside. To keep it in one space so it doesn't slide around. So that's all for the roof. Now let's get to the actual motorhome. So as you can see, this slide out. <laughs> let's try to get it pushed out. There we go. This slide out does come out. Uh, as all slide outs, they do have holes on the bottom. So you can see the mechanism. But this one, it's not one of those kind of mechanisms. Something different. It's on slidey pieces. So this is how it works. So if this is the bottom of the motorhome, you have sliding pieces, so it's a rectangle, uh, it's a rectangle like this, and it has a, a stopper right here, but the rectangle goes around it, and then this is the end, so when it slides, the stopper stops it, and the slide out is out, so that's how it works, and it's running on uh, some tiles, push it out all the way. So, the door opens, and that is a slide out right there. has a nice coach. I'm not sure if I'll get a good video of this. So, in there you can see uh, a couch. I said coach for a second. I meant couch. It's a couch, nice and comfy. Uh, there is enough headroom. For the minifig to almost stand in there, if he's almost able to stand in there, then he's it, then he's able to sit in there. So I'm just gonna leave that in as much as I go. At the front, you can see there's a driver. Uh, something fell down, and uh, it meant to fall down. So you can see a drivers which uh right. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's a Lego stand, so it's not that. So, you can see RPM, or uh, speed, RPM, uh, like, shifting, I guess, shifting levels, lights, to shift, this is a shifter, steering wheel, and seat. Right here is a fire extinguisher right by there. Right here, you have a kitchen. Uh, this right here is a sink right there. 
that's a pan right there. Uh, this is a shelf. Okay, that thing keeps on falling down. I can't let that happen. This is a shelf, and under the sink is a shelf too. That is a refrigerator, and under there is a stove and uh, oven. If you can't see it in the right or left corner of the screen, you can almost see it. You can see t a but two buttons, red, and red one, and one silver one. That's the oven and stove. Uh, there's a mop right there, right up here, uh, to clean it out. Right here, okay, I think I can get a better view right here. Right here, you have a bathroom, does open, and there is a toilet. And there is enough room for the minifig to get in there and actually close the door. I actually just moved the camera, this is bad. So, Okay, let's move it back again. Okay, now this is the bed. I'm just going to tell you. This right here is the bed, and inside is storage. So you can see the bed in there. It pops out, and there's storage under there. Uh, and so that's for the bed and everything I just told you. It's all gray tiles. Like gray tiles to the bed until the bed, which is like wood tiles. And okay, I'm getting really annoying right now. That what I'm touching right now. That those gray tiles right here, which I'm, which I'm which I'm touching with my thumb, is a flat screen TV. Okay, this is really annoying. Uh, so yeah, that's a flat screen TV. Nothing much. No remote. It's got no stickers on it. Okay. I, I need to stop this video. Um, so, I'm just going to put that back on. And I'm going to bring Surfer Jacob up with his million dollar motorhome. So guys, if you like this video, uh, just give a big like, um, subscribe, and um, I have future videos coming up. So, yeah. And when the camera fell down in the video, like, halfway through, I didn't want to restart the video because I spent almost, like, half an hour trying to prepare a good video, and I'm not going to restart again. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, um, and subscribe. Um, so as I said, I'm having future videos come up. I'm even going to... Some of these uh, mocks that I make... I'm going to be giving uh, instructions, not for every single one, only for a few. Uh, like, I have a jet ski and a trailer. I have a rally car. I have, um, I think that's about it that I'm doing. I'm not doing a lot. I think I'm only doing, like, two instructions, I think it is. Uh, because I might be doing three. I'm thinking of my other one that I'm going to do. So, yeah, just watch more of my videos, like more of my videos, and I hope more, you should go tell your friends, like, text them, like, this guy did a good motorhome, and just, uh, go watch it and subscribe it, because I already subscribed, you can tell your friends that, but, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, um, watch my future videos, uh, I have some friends out there, I really want them to watch this, so, I hope you guys watched this video. Uh, if you guys don't know Nick Cool, he is one of my friends at school. He that's his or that's his um, YouTube channel, Nick Cool. Uh, he does like he does Roblox and stuff. Uh, I don't like Roblox as much. Uh, I've never played it. I don't actually kind of like it because it's just blocks. It's really weird. Like if you watch his escape video, it's really weird. Uh, but yeah. So, I stick more to Lego stuff, and, like, driving, and real, th real games. Like, such as, if you guys don't know what KSP is, Curable Space Program, it's a really fun space game, where you can build planes, space planes, um, giant rockets. It's just really cool. So, I'm gonna end the video here, it's already 15 minutes long, so... I'll see you guys in the next video. Just subscribe, like, and tell your other friends. Bye-bye.